I know what you're all thinking. You're like, wow, Brad from Home Improvement? <laughs> Ray Lynn Silco. <laughs> Three divorces, an alcohol problem. Uh, my name's Nick Lanny, I'm really out of shape. Like, you know it's bad when you can't go up the stairs? And that's an escalator? <laughs> or you're at the gym and someone thinks you work there? <laughs> like, you're here to work out too, you know. I got some gripes in this life. Uh, I hate when people bring spam to a potluck. <laughs> that's what I'm bringing. <laughs> so I'll take a can of spam and slam on a table and then eat where everybody else made their bare hands. Uh, I don't smoke weed. I buy snacks at the gas station like I do. <laughs> I was be at the article buying five cans of Pringles. Then I see barbecue Pringles. Then I see Memphis barbecue Pringles. Wait, 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 I'm bringing them all to the counter. This is like an all of the above kind of thing for me. The cashier didn't ask why I had the munchies, but he did randomly ask so I wanted a lighter. <laughs> I'm just glad he assumed I, had, I was high and didn't have an eating disorder, because that's what it looked like. Yeah, I have a really bad addiction to Pringles, like really bad. Because the problem with Pringles is you can't sue them if you get addicted. Because once you pop, you can't stop. <laughs> like, they warn you in their ads. <laughs> uh, I stopped going to Taco Bell because I think they're gossiping about me. <laughs> I just hand them, I hand them my money, and then they close the window. I heard laughter. <laughs> so from now on, whenever I go in there, I just, like, order a cheese quesadilla, and I hide around the corner to see if they're going to talk about me. <laughs> Uh, I was at McDonald's recently, I felt really rejected, because I ordered something for here, and they made it to go. <laughs> like, they're just trying to get rid of me. I don't think they ever give me a number, they just hand me my bag and look at me and wait till I leave. Um, I was at McDonald's, I think this girl working there liked me, because she handed me my food and made eye contact. <laughs> Hate to break the bad news to her, she's not really my type. I'm not in the women to work at McDonald's. I'm one of the strong independent ladies that work at the 7-Eleven. I want a, like a girl who's got my back at the 7-Eleven, like tells me which DVDs are on sale. Because let's face it, 7-Eleven doesn't have Pulp Fiction. They have Pulp Fact. Which is a really good Orange Juice documentary, by the way. Uh, before I got here, I had a job interview with Lay's Potato Chips. And during the interview, they asked me, where do you see yourself or our company? I'm like, you know the potato chip bags always come half empty when you open them? I'm gonna be that guy who keeps eating half the bag. It's a sweet job. Got a little greedy though, because I asked to be in the barbecue section. I don't know how to cook. Apparently that's what you need for barbecue chips. Uh, one of these days though, I do want to have a sweet outdoor cookout. But I just do what I always do. I take my microwave and I put it outside. <laughs> Problem solved. Uh, when I was younger, I used to cry a lot. And then kids make fun of me, and I cry some more. <laughs> but it's okay, because all those kids that make fun of me, they grew up and became major heroin addicts. So, <laughs> I think I won in life. <laughs> I didn't watch a lot of cable when I was younger, so as you can imagine, my favorite birthday present was a package of Flex Tape. <laughs> Just watched a lot of infomercials. <laughs> I grew up with PBS as a kid, a uh, channel of Reading Rainbow and Nova. Uh, you think you're one of the cool kids in the neighborhood, but then you find you're not. Because you'll be hanging out and we'll be saying stuff like, Hey, be cool if Batman fought Superman. And the other kid's like, I want to see the Ninja Turtles fight the Power Rangers. I said, I'll do you one better. I want to see Mr. Rogers fight Elmo. Like, <laughs> I just want to see Mr. Rogers beat the ever-loving stuffing out of that thing. Have some cool quips. Like, you're pretty ugly for a Muppet. Big Bird never loved you. You came in the wrong neighborhood. I'm vengeance. <laughs> then he brings good buddy Bob Ross. A little punch over here, a little punch over there. Happy little punches, every punch is a friend. <laughs> Drop a pine tree in the middle of the scene, because that's what Bob Ross does. You think he's done painting? No, he's got a pine tree left to paint. So you can probably guess by now I was not popular in high school. <laughs> like I wasn't invited to a whole lot of school events. Like fire drills. <laughs> I went to a charter school when I was in high school. It's like a regular public school, but of homeschool dropouts. Everything in the charter school had like a knockoff. Like no one listened to cool rap music. They listened to clean knockoff rappers. Like instead of Eminem, they listened to Skittles. Instead of Childish Gambino, they listened to Responsible Gambino. And it would have been nice if they listened to 50 Cent and not Car Wash Token. Like, that would have been cool. I tried joining a wrestling team when I was in high school. Did not go over well. The coach said I was fat. 
He kept referring to me as the heavyweight champion. <laughs> and there was no one else in my weight class. I've been watching my money lately. It's getting pretty bad. I had my car worked on. Mechanic called me and said, hey, it's going to be about $2,000 worth of repairs. I said, you know what? Just keep the car. I'm good. <laughs> I don't have that kind of money. Uh, two things you should know about me. I have a problem with sleepwalking. So before I go to bed, I wear my Fitbit. Get <laughs> those steps in. And lastly, I like going to yard sales. Because someone risks me off, I know exactly where they live. <laughs> All right, you guys have been great. Thank you. God bless. Thank you for your